gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to FTB Map Mod Pack. <laughs> I'm so used to the Map Pack because it's like the pyramid style, but it's Mod Pack, sorry about that. Now, I did do some mining off camera, about an hour of it. Uh, about 15 minutes of it was a waste because I ended up dying at the end of that. Yeah, so that wasn't good. But I did end up getting all this stuff. It will be before you see this me talking, so you, you should already see it by now, so you can already skip over it if you didn't want to see it. But I will be putting the whole entirety of a, I think it's like 55, 56 minutes of that video up on YouTube as well, because I did talk through it, but you don't have to watch it because it, it's all about mining. The people that did want to watch it, the 45 or so odd people that decided to, uh, um, decided to dislike the video so they could watch it, they're still going to be able to watch it, so there you go. Uh, again, it's it's pretty boring, but I did talk about some pretty awesome stuff as well. Uh, Alright, so we have enough stuff that we can actually work on our pulverizer and our power furnace. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do in this episode. Pulverizer and powered furnace. Awesome. So we need some coal for that. Uh, I'm going to need like three pieces of coal to burn this sand into glass. Uh, I might as well just make another furnace while I'm at it. That way I have some, the ability to start cooking up some other stuff, like some iron. Now, like I said, I did die. I fell in the lava. That's why I don't have my iron armor on. So I lost, you know, a good 29, 30 pieces of armor, or of iron. So that's, uh, it's sad to say, but you know, it happens to the best of us, the best around, you know. Oh, well, what can I say? Nobody's perfect. Definitely not me. So I'm going to go ahead and cook up some of this. Probably like eight pieces will be good. I don't need too much. Not too much right away. Not too much right away at all. There is seven and eight and awesome stuff. I was a little tired this morning, so. Hopefully those of you who do watch the mining video don't get too... Uh, Mad at me for being tired. Mad at me for not wanting to, not caring. I did care though. I just, at the very last second, I uh, mined underneath me, which was stupid. And uh, lava decided to uh, come up. So, that was not awesome at all. Alright, there's that. I think it's like four pieces, so we, now we need like one piece of gold. For this piece right here. Yep, and... I think this other one's uh, redstone. Oh, we need two pieces of gold, actually. Two pieces of gold. And we're also going to need a couple pieces of iron for the uh, piston. One piece of iron for the piston. Just trying to make the bare necessities. That way I get the most out of my iron. You know, back in the day when you made macerators and you were like, all right, first thing we're going to do is make a macerator, and then we're not going to do use any of the ore unless we put it through the macerator. So that's kind of what I'm going for here but we'll just see how it works out so that should be all the stuff we need right there come over here and we need to get our redstone actually out and so our, our wood we already have some wood so alright we're gonna go for this item first throw this in the middle pour glass all the way around the sides and then for iron all the way around the sides and we get the machine frame. And we get something in our face. I don't know why you're there right now. Punk. Where'd you come from? Uh, I probably need to uh, close this up for right now. That way we avoid problems later on. Yeah, that should be good. I think that's well lit down there, so nothing should be spawning from down below. But uh, now that we got the machine frame... We need this doohickey right here, right there, right there, for gold, and then we're going to need some copper, right, and some flint, some copper, just a couple pieces of copper, we can go ahead and throw that in there, we already have the two pieces of flint, so that's good, we're ahead of the game, we are ahead of the game, Wacus Emmentize, pulverizer here is a macerator plus some other things that he used for thermal expansion. So it's cool. So it's like a Mace Raider Plus. Awesome. Uh, Bobby Lee 8. It's funny that Nearby was happy because he was in the latest version of Minecraft and then 1.4.4 came out. I know. I know. There is a funny thing about that. I thought I was in the latest version of Minecraft. 
Well, I'm in the latest version of Minecraft that these mods are for, so that's good. So I'm technically kind of right, kind of wrong. Well, I'm definitely wrong. I'm always wrong, right? That's what you guys try to prove every single episode. Nearby, you're always wrong. There is our piston, so now we should be able to make this awesome thing called the pulverizer. We're going to put that right there, some flint right there, our machine frame, our redstone reception soil, coil, not soil, and then we get the pulverizer. Pulverizer is cool and all, but it needs to be powered, so we can place it down right there. But as you can see, there is no power going into it. Power builds up over here on this side. I'm not sure what that's for. <laughs> not sure what any of this other stuff's for, but... Uh, this is the configuration it allows. This is something cool in Buildcraft. It allows for the outputs, as you see on these sides, to be switched to whatever you want. So that's really cool. Which colors you want. Uh, and these are the colors where all the stuff is going to go. So it makes it a little bit easier to figure out what's happening. Uh, redstone control, you can enable it with a redstone signal if you wanted to. Or control disable. Awesome. Signal high, signal low. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and this shows the mega juice jewels. <laughs> I did not say that mega. Wow, I didn't. That did not come out like I wanted it to at all. All right, so we're gonna need some engines. Best thing to go with right now for engines would be, and they changed the name of it to Sterling Engines. So we can go ahead and get those. We're gonna need a couple more iron cooked up for the pistons. But we can do that right now. Ben Milstein says. What happened to Skytech? Oh, I'm guessing you're talking about Skytech Retro with AJ. Uh, that will be coming back pretty soon, guys. Sorry about that. Um, we recorded so much in ahead of time. Like, we recorded, like, six hours ahead of time. So we had, like, three weeks of videos up. And I didn't realize that it had stopped until, you know, just recently with AJ. And we just haven't had that much time together to uh, get back to our old selves on the recording side. So hopefully we'll get back to that, and I'll have EE -E back eventually. I love EE. -E. I miss you, EE. -E. There's that right there. You know what? We're going to need to uh, get another piece of wood going right here. Awesome. Now we have the second piston that we're going to need for the awesome stuff. Next thing, we're going to need the cogs, as I like to call them. As I've always liked to call them, and you guys always like to make fun of me for that. Um, right there, right there. Oh, no. Wood. Uh, let's see. One, two. Get our sticks ready. Oh, we can go around the corner with the sticks. Get the cogs. Awesome. Put that up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put stone around a shovel. Because that makes sense, right? There's that right there. Alright. Now we should be able to make this no problem. One, two. Two, one, two, one, two. Wow. I totally clicked the wrong thing. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then two glass and two of those. There we go. We're going to go ahead and make a redstone torch. Actually, we should make two redstone torches. There we go. Now we should be able to put these on there as specified. Actually, that should work. And then put the redstone torch right there. And we want a chest to the side of it to catch all the awesome stuff that's going to be pouring out of it. So, just do that. And go all the way around for another chest. This should all pour out the side, hopefully. It's red. Let's see. GUI system. Yep, red. Goes right there. Awesome. Now I just need to put some coal in those engines. And we'll be good. Some charcoal. Some coal. I'm just going to put coal. Uh, I know I was specified to put charcoal, but I don't have charcoal right now. But we'll just power those up. And now we should be able to put that in there. And it will gain power and start pulverizing. Eventually. There it goes. It's just got to gain a little bit of power. Now I can double that production, which is good. I'm really going to enjoy that because instead of 51, we're going to get 102 of those. Next thing. Uh, on the uh, agenda is a powered furnace. Powered furnace. That is a cool looking powered furnace. Now what a powered furnace does is a, it's basically a furnace which uses Buildcraft energy to smelt or cook things. Additionally certain items such as food can be cooked for much less energy uh, than its traditional furnace. 
So it's basically just a powered furnace. Not too bad. We're going to need more iron and more gold. This is going to take a little bit of a while to uh, store up enough energy and uh, basically get to the maximum power. Power usage right now is at 1.3. It's going up, but uh, yeah, we just got to wait. It's probably not going to reach the maximum because there's not enough engines on it to reach the maximum, but uh, 1.5 is not too bad. And over here is, oh, there it is, pulverized iron. It's going directly to the chest, so that's cool. All right, we got to cook some of this iron up. And iron is being cooked up right now. Awesome. Detector powered. Nice. Interesting. I think that's for railcraft. Love detectors. Detectors are awesome. Uh, we got to get some gold, so I might as well just burn one gold up here right now. I think there's two gold that we're going to need, actually. And so we can have our powered furnace. That's not too shabby. We already got a lot of iron going. I can get my suit back now, which is good. That I lost. Did not mean to lose that at all. Uh, one thing that would be uh, advised right now is probably, since I don't want to build too many engines, is to get a wrench. One of these wrenches right here which is just a stone gear and three iron, which we have. That way I can move the engines around willingly instead of having to build more engines. See, now I can just come over here and, well, if it had another item to move to, it would definitely move to that item. So for right now it doesn't, but say I can put uh, something up there. I can put the, uh, really? Something's dying. That's good that it's dying, but it sounds really loud. There, it's dead. Finally, spider. You can die. What is that? MFFS multi tool wrench? Wow, that looks expensive. <laughs> yeah, talk about expensive. Interesting. Let's get back to the powered furnace. We're going to need a piston, or actually, we're going to need this first. So let's go ahead and build this. Nice setup right here. And then we're going to need that with redstone on each side for the stick looking thing. Oh, we're going to need two copper hooked up. So let me just put that in there real quick. Okay, awesome. Wait, that's tricky. It just tricked the copper into thinking it was iron is that what that just did no there it goes it's like what in the world i don't understand what's happening there okay i guess it loads up and then it uses it maybe that's how that works all right we got some copper going now uh let's see polo raro says speed the mining up don't do it off camera so i did both i sped the mining up and i put it on camera but like not for anyone who wants doesn't want to watch to watch you know that stuff that kind of stuff because that's not important to people right mining it's it's not like the game's called minecraft or anything you know <laughs> i'm just kidding guys i'm actually listening to you for once oh we need bricks we need clay we haven't got clay yet we're gonna have to go outside to get clay well, i'm gonna put all that stuff up there for right now then and get that and that so I can go out and get clay. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some mushroom soup while I'm at it. That was weird. That was a weird way to ingest like invisible soup. All right, let's go back out for some clay then, shall we? I didn't realize we didn't have any. It shouldn't be that hard to find though. Clay is awesome. Just glad I got most of the stuff needed for this episode already. So that's awesome. When does that ever happen? When is ever is nearby ever prepared for anything? Hey, but an hour and a half of minecrafting? There's some clay over there. You gotta be prepared when you do that much minecrafting. 
Wouldn't it be horrible if each one of these only gave you one block of play? Or one, like, ball of play? That'd be horrible. So I'm glad they give you a lot more. And we should be good with clay, hopefully. We should be a lot good. We need to kill some pigs, though. Oh, well. We'll worry about that later. You pigs are awesome. I know we also need to find some sugar cane. I think the machines don't disassemble. No disassemble Johnny Five whenever you destroy them, so I should be able to take them with me wherever I go. This is just a way to suit up for some iron and stuff for wherever I move to. Not going to do much more here uh, besides build this machine that I'm working on right now. And then uh, probably, I don't know, next episode or the episode after that, get all my stuff and get out of here. But I'll have to build some bags first, which we should have enough wool for a couple of bags, hopefully. Let's see. Let's see what a mining bag takes. Mining bag. Oh, it's not backpack, maybe. There we go. Miner's backpack. We're going to need two wool, some iron, some string, and a chest. I have not killed enough spiders yet for that. Nice. What does a... Digger's backpack take? String as well? Why so much string, huh? Why so much string? Because it's a backpack, maybe? And they don't have anything to cut the wool up, so... I'm kind of out of luck for the backpacks right now. Unless I go out in the middle of the night and just start hunting down every single piece of spider I see. Need two more bricks and we'll be good. Joeman1089 says, uh, did anyone notice the weird rock on the cave floor at around 27 to 28 minutes? Yeah, those are beehives. Some sort of bees. Uh, stone bees, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so those are not spiral brick, like everyone's been saying. Not spiral brick. There's two bricks that we're going to need. Now we should be able to make our powered furnace. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to see tonight... If I can go out and kill an Enderman. Ooh. Because we need uh, the portal gun. That would be awesome right now. If I could get the portal gun, I would be so happy. I'd be pleased. Redstone. It'd be great. It'd be the greatest. There's that. Two bricks. That. This rod. And a portal gun. Equals a powered furnace. Now I can just place that up there. Switch currents over, and as you can see, it should be building up energy. Plus, it stores energy, which is really cool. So you're not really wasting anything if you're putting coal in there. Although, it only stores up to 2,400, I'm guessing. Hmm, interesting. But, like, if I had an engine, I could pump that out up there to that if I wanted to. There we go. And that'll cook up for me. Uh, let's see if I can get any pipes going in here. Actually, I know how to make them. I don't know why I need that. I don't know if they need to be wood or not. I guess I can do a couple of wood and a couple of regular little craft pipes. Regular. And then the wood kind. Just in case. Should be able to do that. And then make it go down to that. Oh, you know what? I might want to extend it out this way. Just a little bit. I always thought it would go down to the chest, but you know, you never know what would happen. There. That way we have the iron or whatever we put up here going directly back into it. So that's awesome. Awesome possum! And we need to pulverize some more stuff while we're here. While we're sitting here waiting. Pulverize, pulverize, and pulverize. We could probably start making our iron gear back up right now. Because we're going to need an iron sword and all that to go out there hunting. Uh, a lot of people have suggested in the live stream to make a Athene or whatever it is to kill the Enderman. You cannot make that yet because of the fact that... Uh, we don't have red power yet, so. Unfortunately.
but I can make all my other tools that I had going on here before you know I lost everything there we go cool all right up here we're gonna go ahead and put that and that and that and that and that actually those those can all go down here correct that a little bit perfect now we have two feathers but we don't have any string so we're missing out on the string that probably needs to stay in our inventory irons pretty cool for staying in our inventory we already have food so that's good I think we're doing pretty good we just need to make sure that uh, oh we probably need to make our suit of iron if we're gonna go out hunting anything we don't want to die so we'll remake our suit of iron unfortunately I have to do this what is that thing that is a track remover. Interesting. I can remove tracks. I feel almost back to my normal self. I should be able to put all this stuff up here now. Oh, one more piece. We have an extra piece. This can, can only go to a maximum of two megajoules a tick. And now I can do four. Wow. I would say that this is a lot easier than, uh, let me show you right now. Oh no, I'm for, I forgot they changed it back, but still. To power this macerator, you would think you'd do a solar panel. Like I said last time, solar panels have changed. Uh, windmills have not changed. I thought they did change. Huh, interesting. I guess they changed back. So windmills would be a good option, but still it's not the best option. We got pulverized iron in there for some reason. There we go. I think we're doing pretty good thus far. Anything in here? We got some bricks. We can go ahead and throw up here. Is it nighttime yet? I'm not even sure. You know what? I kind of want to sleep, but then I don't because if I sleep. Hmm. Ain't no rest for the wicked, you know? Let's go ahead and make our last piece of iron armor that we're going to need for this adventure. Iron armor. Sweetness. Got all the iron tools we're going to need. Let's go out and see if it's nighttime so we can go kill. Oh, there's a spider, so I think it is nighttime. Awesome, it is. String? How much string you give me? Two pieces? That's not enough. I need more. I need more string. More string. Moss string, please. Uh, Enderman, where are you? I saw you down there, but I really want to see you up here. What is with you and your arrows? Leave me alone. I'm just having fun, okay? That's it. Okay, those guys are dead. Dead, dead, and deader. That's how we play this game. Another one deads the dust. Uh, squid out there in the countryside. Interesting. Wow, creeper blowing up the pig. Thank you for the bacon. You didn't have to, but that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome of you. So is this stuff like natural on the ground now? Or is that like part of something else? Leaf pile? I think that's part of uh, the extra biomes or whatever. Oh, you're in quicksand. How dare you? You're gonna die. Wow, you're not gonna die though. You should go in the quicksand too. It's fun over there. Aw, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for you. Not really, bye. And that's how you get rid of Wow, why'd that one blow up? That was weird. I didn't even see that one out of the corner of my eye and it blows up. Come here, creeper. I just don't love how creepers blow up these days. Can you go on this pile, please? No? Well, that does that blow up? Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Ha ha, 
Yeah, you're stuck in the quicksand, buddy. Uh-huh. Good luck getting out of that. Ooh, there's this over here. Wow. That was a trap just waiting for me. Enderman. Oh, we need another spider. Come here, spider. Come here. Come here. Give me some one string. Oh, no, four. Sweet. We can make one bag. Awesome. Awesome. I want an enderman, please. One enderman, because I want to make the portal gun. Portal gun of awesomeness. Actually, we still need a diamond, but still. Enderman would get me really far if I could find one. Or maybe two more spiders right in a row. That would be cool, too. That way I can make a second bag. That's only if they drop. Apparently not, though. Apparently we're going to have some bad luck with this. I haven't even found cows yet. And that's another concern for me. I need cows. Sugar cane, though. That's good. Definitely gonna need to gather some of that up. There's worlds that you can get that are just basically swamp biomes themselves that have a lot of sugar cane in them. So if I get a swamp biome, I'm in miscraft. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get plenty of sugar cane to grow. Hopefully we get dense ores. Like I said, it's not too... It doesn't make me too angry if we don't, but uh, we'll see. Dense ores would be awesome. How can trees grow in quicksand? That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. The trees are too awesome for the quicksand. There is a few glitches every once in a while with this pack, but really, I would have to say I have not crashed out yet, so that makes me uber happy. Oh, that's cool. I kind of want to save this now. Hopefully he dies before he gets to me. No? Really? Hiding in the shade, are we? Uh, let me click ravine. Waypoint. Add ravine. Now we have a ravine added to our waypoint list. Uh, the mage plate? I think the mag plate? Uh, nearby, when will you when you get one million subscribers, will you still read your comments and use it on your videos? Um, if that ever does happen, which I highly doubt it, I would definitely still read my comments because that's one thing that makes my channel original, or I do believe it makes it original. Not only am I noob at everything that I do, but I also decide to read your guys' comments because you guys are awesome. So thank you very much for that, and I will try my best to maintain the old nearby, even if that never happens, which it won't, but still. I'm happy where I'm at right now. Uh, let's see. Mr. Pepsi Max says, will it be daily videos? Of course we'll have daily videos. You know, and I always warn you guys if I don't or I'm not able to get a daily video out. But of course you'll have daily videos of awesomeness. Heck, I spent an hour and a half doing these videos because I, I love you guys that much. That's how awesome I am. Okay, so we went out there for nothing because we didn't get the Enderman. But we have strings, so we can actually make our backpack that we're going to need. We can make one of the backpacks that we're going to need. Uh, I think I'm going to make the minor one, just so I can carry the ore around me with me a lot easier. So really, all we need is a chest, because we already have some iron. So two iron, some string, a chest, and two wool. Uh... Actually, we need a little bit more wood. One more piece. Awesome. Now we're good. Now we're set to have some fun. Chest in the middle. And all the way around the sides. Iron and wool. Gives us a miner's backpack. So now we can... Uh, I believe there's a, a way to do this. Oh gosh, this is how rusty I am at this. Oops. There's a button you can press in order to turn the backpacks. I know one of you guys has said this before. Maybe, oh, it's like, uh, there it is. There it is. One of these is fulfilling. I think it's that one. Yep, there we go. And basically what happens if you uh, shift and then right click it'll switch to receiving and sending and all that and unloading and loading 
well basically when you shift on a chest that has the ores in it that you need and you right click it will gather everything that it is allowed to put in the backpack in the backpack so that makes it a lot easier that way you can carry that around but I'm just gonna put that in there right now because we don't need it right now because we're not going anywhere but as you can see right there we're doing really good with the tin uh, how's this going up here that's already pretty much filled up so we can go ahead and move this up here look how much energy is already stored that's pretty awesome that we already have that much stored energy this goes pretty fast too I would have to say this thing's like zooming on by a lot faster than uh, we're used to maybe different uh, ores burn at different temperatures or something maybe it's kinda like uh, terra firma craft in a way who knows I don't really know at all Kai dude or yeah Kai dude put it stuff in a chest so we can download it if we have that stuff also uh, since I am giving you the server files I didn't realize that that it'll be under nearby gamer but you can always change my name in the configs to whatever name you have or I think if you open the world up in single player it would give you the stuff but I'm not exactly sure how that works but yeah I do understand I just, I just thought about that so I will definitely work on that a little bit better we're almost done pulverizing this man this has actually lasted quite a while just one sterling engine has lasted quite a while it's not giving me the maximum output so I'm not happy about that because we would probably need two engines on this one two to three engines on that one and four engines on this one if we were just using the sterling engines but uh oh well I'm happy with what it's doing uh, Silva Dream says I'm not saying it isn't great but when you first started out since you get a bit extra ingot and I was really on charcoal when first starting out I waste coal oh I think he's talking about using uh, charcoal instead of uh, all the coal that I've been using so uh, true that uh, solar panels only give you one EU per tick and uh, charcoal gives you ten so but then again I mean what can I what can you do right uh, all I'm doing right now is waiting for this tin ore. Let's see exactly what it is to make the portal gun. I'm pretty sure it is a diamond, uh, obsidian, and an ender pearl. But, yep, and iron. So obsidian we don't have yet, and we don't have diamonds yet. So we will have to go mining for diamonds. I might do what I did today tomorrow, but I'm not sure with the mining off camera or not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching as always. You guys are great best crew around and we will definitely see you in a next episode which will be tomorrow yay i'm so happy this is turning out so great so uh don't forget to like if you liked the episode really that helps out quite a bit dislike if you didn't like the episode that way you can tell me down in the comment section below why i'm horrible other than that thanks for watching guys see you later